Lesson 1.1, Getting Around QuickBooks. The home page is where you'll land most of the time when you open QuickBooks. The home page has icons of the typical places that you'll want to go. For example, write a check or reconcile a bank account. These icons are customizable and through the preferences you can eliminate icons that you don't use. For example, if you don't use estimates and sales orders, you can make these go away and keep the home page nice and tidy. Another way to get around QuickBooks is through the pull-down menu. For example, in the customer menu, I can get to the customer center, but I can also get to a couple of different places that I cannot get from the home page. And a third way to get around QuickBooks is through the icon bar. Now, in newer programs, the icon bar shows up on the left, but this can be changed, and I personally prefer it on the top. So if I want to move it to the top, I go Views and go Top Icon Bar. And now when it's on the top, you can see there's actually icons up here, which I find easier to use. This icon to Customers will take you to the Customer Center, which is the same thing as this blue Customer tab here, and the same thing as the Customer Center choice in the Customer pull-down menu. You can also have multiple windows open. This icon right here allows you to have multiple windows. You can shrink these windows so that you can work side by side if that's easier for you. And in any case, you can use the window pull down menu to go to any windows that you have open. And then you always hit the home tab to go home. On newer versions of QuickBooks, there's an insights tab that's tucked behind the home page. This has a graphical representation of your financial data. We'll get to this later when we talk about analyzing your information. So there we have it. Lesson 1.1, Getting Around QuickBooks.